we go. He wasn't gonna move for me, the bastard. Can keep either just going to weep up <coughs> and um I can keep going to weep up, that's Cape York, all of up here is Cape York. People say, oh, I've been to Cape York. No, you only went to Weep up. You're still a long way away. So I think let's go to the tip of Australia instead. Weeper is only 70 more k's. And I'd be there. But where's the fun in that? I think I'm gonna do another 400 maybe. I don't know how many it is, it's a fucking long way. Probably 400. And I'm going to go to the tip in this instead to say I've been to Cape York on my own, unassisted, on a Harley, ultra classic. Let's get there. Got a bit of a problem though. I've got just over half a tank of fuel and the next stop for fuel is Bremwell, I think, something like that. Bremwell Station or Roadhouse and I sort of think I'm about probably 150 k's away maybe I hope I make it so I didn't put any fuel in the jerry can because I'm so smart because I thought I'd go to Wheat for first and I haven't. I don't break down a few. It's not like it's not like that many cars. Everything's a diesel. So not many unleaded vehicles. I don't think my Harley runs on diesel. So it could be a problem. But, one good thing everyone, we're going to the tip of Australia. Oh, big oh, oh, fuck. Look at this. That one takes me, I keep going to get on that uh, road to Bremwell Station this way, yeah. Thanks mate. So while you guys enjoy the ride, I'm going to put some Motley Crew on, on Spotify, through my headset, punch out some tunes. Let's go! Oh shit!
Just gonna have a bit of a break here. Like, I don't know. I haven't had any breakfast yet, just that muesli bar. So, have 20 minutes off or something. Fucking hot. I'm usually bar. Takes it out of you. Riding this thing. It's going really good. Oh, it's just fucking hot. I don't want to take my breast off in case I come a cropper. End up face first. Not that it's going to do anything for my arms or whatever, but you couldn't wear a jacket anyway here. It's just, this is just way too hot. I'd like to put shorts on, but you know. Got to wear all the good protective gear. Look at the colour of them. Oh. Whatever. Fuck, it's hot. There's no one out here, man. There's just no one out here. Look at that. Go for a walk. Have a look. Look at that. I got the whole place to myself. Soap's good. <sighs> Fucking hot though. Glad there's no cars along here. That dust was killing me. I'm gonna die. This is better. Drink of water and get on the way. Boots are wet again. I hate wet boots. Every day now since Monday, I've had wet feet. I'm gonna end up on shit. I'm gonna end up in foot rubs. I just I can't find my boots out. Bullshit! I haven't seen anyone for like an hour. Oh, it's so hot. I'm wondering if I'm on the right road, because there's no one. You're sort of passing a car every um, 20 minutes or more, like 20 minutes, half an hour. Normally passing a car somewhere, but uh, it's so hot. 
I haven't passed anyone for can't see. I haven't passed anyone for over an hour and I'm starting to wonder if I'm going in the right direction. There's no one around. And Google Maps doesn't work and I haven't got a map. I don't know where I am. And it's hot. And I think I've got like about a third of a tank, maybe a little bit more than a third of a tank of fuel left. And I think I'm heading north, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm a genius sometimes. It's quiet though. Just, just doing a walk around on the bike, just having a quick look, and it's leaking something. I don't know. I think it might be brake fluid leaking out of it. I don't know. It's dripping there on the bike, and it's got oil all through there. And it smells weird. And I'm not going to have a look here because I'm in the middle of bum fuck. And, um,. I think I'll just keep going that way and hope that that's the way to Bramwell, Bramwell Station or something. Fuck if I know. Don't even know how fucking far I've got to go anymore. It was going good this morning because I had a good sleep. And now. I didn't because I haven't had any breakfast because the buses didn't open until 8 o'clock. And I wanted to get out of there early and try and beat the rest of the fucking idiots. So I wanted to get out of there early to beat the other people travelling north, which I did. And I think only one or two's gone past or couple. Here comes a caravan or thing right up there. That's the first thing I've seen in like an hour. <sighs> but that oil leak's going good. hope it's not brake fluid because I don't want to clamp the line off and have no brake on the back. But I'll have to if it's a brake line. I don't know. We'll, I'll get up the road. Hopefully it's, I'll stop this car and find out. But I'll get up the road and find out.
up the road more. Dunnies, a few four wheel drives out there. So I've got this, well, you can camp anywhere. I just got a carport instead, 12 bucks 50, cheap ass. Got a little fire pit. Bike's looking just sensational as always. Got the bar for the night, table, and I'll camp, put me tent in there somewhere. But at the moment, I just want to have a fucking beer, right? And that's all you can buy. <laughs> really? Song we know. Must have got fucking hit in the face or something. So I'm gonna chill out with all me mates. With all me mates. And look, the bike's leaking stuff. coming from in there. Really hope it's the shock and not the brakes. I have to lean it up against it. I don't know. And the stands. The stands going good. That stand spring's working good. Like this one. I'm actually surprised it's still going. But by that stand spring, that rattling out, uh, yesterday somewhere and that leak oh and I've done that as well I don't know how that happened and I'm not sure when that happened I can't remember bar that bar that it's going really good it's got a bit of a rattle in the motor though and it smells weird so I don't know I don't know what that smell and weird is all about that's sort of Got me a bit baffled. It smells like, um, oh, what would you call it? Put you 
day. Ow! And that, that's hurting. It smells like, um, burning transmission fluid or something. And I'm a bit, oh, table just, table just broke. <laughs> yeah, right. It smells like, um, transmission fluid or something like that, like that it's burning gearbox oil or whatever I don't know but it's um, yeah there's something not right but the engine oil is all good I looked at that so that's looking all good I can't check the others to see how much is in it or what's going on I've got a funny feeling it happened when I went through the water creek crossing where I nearly swamped it and I might have got because something went weird with the clutch and I had to adjust it. That was a few days back, four days ago or something. Monday, to adjust it Tuesday morning. And I don't know um, if, because I lost the clutch that day. And I don't know if I've fucked the gearbox oil or, or maybe the primary got water in it and I'm a bit worried about opening up and having a look and seeing a milkshake in there so I'm just gonna you know do what all great mechanics do is just ignore the problem and it will go away Jeez. Bike looks good though. Probably give it a wash. Fuck that. An adventure bike rider bloke just turned up. <laughs> Fucking. He might be coming over here for a camp. So he's just pulled up out the front there with all his adventure gear on. All the good stuff. Mr. Motocross. On a big BMW adventure bike. You know? And who needs a big adventure bike? Uh, BMW or African Twin, DRZ, whatever they are. Who needs one of them? When you can do the same on one of them. That is an adventure bike on fucking steroids. Just the shock. I only just put new shocks on it before I left, and they're fucked already. Or well, once fucked. Well, that's where all the oil's coming out there. So that's whatever. I hope. Hope it doesn't go like a pogo stick after a while. I don't want to lose the other shot. <laughs> That'll be fucked. 
<laughs> Might actually have a look over it today, more than the air filter, just because I'm bored. Oh, they're getting a bit rooted. Look at that. See? Can you see? I said um, when I got the tyres on, I put brake pads in the front and the back. Oh, the back ones will be fine. They'll get you back from the Cape. They're nearly stuffed now. That's why I wanted new ones, guys. But that's okay. We'll get around that. The front ones, it okay. I got a, it's got a weird, oh, oh, that's what I forgot to say. It's also got some weird uh, squeaking, grinding noise out of the front. I think it's just stones caught in the brake pads because it's doing stuff now. Look. It's, it's sort of cut and gouges in them a little bit, but they'll be fine. That's enough of a visual inspection. What I reckon that'll do. Might set me ten up. Yeah. I've just had a a visitor turn up. A car load of five of them. The I, the caravaners that I've been that have been sort of I seem to have been in their group the whole way. Um they're staying up the road somewhere else. I stayed here. Only because I don't want to backtrack another 10 k or 5 k, 6 k's. They'd have to come back again in the morning anyway. So I camped here. They've come down here just to see if I was here. Just to turn around and ask me how I went today. Expecting me to say that I'm having massive dramas or maybe not even be here or didn't make it. Had a bit of a laugh and a giggle and left. And so I've got a little little following that are um, I, I, I think they're wanting to see me fail so when I told them I'm leaving at 6, 6.30 in the morning so I can get up there and be on my 8 o'clock or whatever ferry, I don't know even 10 o'clock, doesn't matter they um then they have a little laugh and a giggle. Oh, you haven't been leaving that early every other morning. It's because my tent's been wet, I said. And that's why I'm underneath here. So it's just amazing that people are like they are. And just, just they're actually excited to see you fail. Then I think in a way they... Do how do I put it? They haven't got the balls to do it themselves, so they're just waiting for the guy that does have the balls to do it to fail, so then they can say, "See, that was a bad idea." Well, guess what? I'm not gonna fail. Well, I could. But I've got an adventure bike. Right, eh? <laughs>